Professionals joined attorney, Iowa's Attorney General to consider alternatives to prescription meds. As we know, opioids can be highly addictive. Now, state capital reporter Connor Hendricks is looking at a plan that searches for other options. The reality of today is that the opioid crisis has affected just about everybody. Iowa Attorney General Brenna Bird says leftover pills after surgery are a big problem. The numbers are startling. There are 10 million leftover pills a year in Iowa. Bird says leftover pills can increase the risk of an overdose. A single opioid prescription fill in a household increases the risk of opioid overdose to that family by 60%. So one fill. If there are two within six months, it increases the risk of an opioid overdose by 625%. John Greenwood with Goldfinch Health says one way to combat the number of leftover pills is to treat patients for pain with fewer of them. The best predictor of how many opioids you're going to take is not your procedure, it's not how much pain you're in, it's the number of opioids you're given. Greenwood's company is part of the Billion Pill Pledge, which he says in Iowa is reducing the number of opioids used and the amount of prescription refills by about 70%. Greenwood says simple things like allowing patients to have a drink before their surgery can reduce people's level of pain post-surgery. In fact, Harvard did a study where they gave their joint replacements a Gatorade, and they found that those patients got out of the hospital an entire day sooner. Greenwood says using Advil and Tylenol together can better reduce pain than opiates. They're also not addictive. The ibuprofen is actually treating the inflammation at its source. And the most exciting news is when you add acetaminophen in, it doubles, uh, it almost doubles the efficacy, and it's three times more effective than the Percocet. Greenwood says the pledge isn't about eliminating opioids, rather being more cautious when prescribing them. So if you need an opioid, you can have it, but you need far, far fewer of them. And they're the last thing you add and instead of the first thing that you add. The pledge doesn't offer a timeline of how long they think it would take to reduce the number of pills. The Billion Pill Pledge website says that six Iowa hospitals have fully implemented the pledge. Six more Iowa hospitals are in the process of doing so. At the Iowa State Capitol, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.